Once you received your Devious Customs Lincoln Continental control arm kit and you're ready to install, you'll start by removing the tires and front suspension. This includes tie rods and shocks, as well as the sway bar and coil. Here at Devious, we like to use a torch to cut the coils out, because it's fun. Remove the brake drum and the rest of the brake assembly. Be sure to hang this up and out of the way. Time to get those old control arms out. One of the things required is to drill out the upper part of the spindle to three quarter and the lower to one inch. Then install the provided sleeve into the lower part of the spindle. It's time to prep for the new suspension by cutting the brake line tab off. Once removed and out of the way, we can now cut the frame for the shock clearance. Time to install the new upper arm and weld on the brake bracket. Next, time to install the lower control arm and bolt up the spindle to both arms. Now reassemble the brake assembly. To wrap up the control arm installation, we are going to bolt on the new front mounts. Bolt on the upper bag cup to the airbag and install. Time to finish up the front kit. Locate the new front shock mounts. These will use two existing bolts, so you'll have to drill one hole. Once bolted up, install the shock. That concludes the install for the Devious Control Arm Kit.